Okay, in this video, I'm just testing a slightly uh, strong, not stronger, but a slightly wider tornado. Generally, the damage path is a little bit greater in this one. And the scary thing about these tornadoes is they move fast. Sometimes, you know, in the springtime, 40, 50, 60 miles an hour along the ground. I mean, think about a car on a road coming at you at 60 miles an hour. It doesn't take any time, right? One mile, one minute. You know, half a mile, half a minute. So, you know, before you know it, it's right on top of you. And that's a car that's just like five or six feet wide. You can imagine a tornado, you know, a tornado coming down the road you know having a much wider path maybe an eighth of a mile wide quarter mile wide before you know it it's sitting right on top of you and it's really hard to get out of their way so that's why they're all that's why you hear the professionals always saying you know don't try and outrun a tornado and i agree don't try and outrun them unless your life depends on it and you can't you know it's coming right at you really but you know i've actually had to outrun them in cars myself but <laughs> uh it was scary Right, so you can see the damage path is a little bit greater in this one. How you can outrun that? So, you know, if you are considering to be a storm chaser someday, I would highly recommend um, seeking professional training from, you know, skilled meteorologists, you know, people who have chased in the field for years, and because they know a lot about the science of weather, and they can definitely help keep you safe from storms. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.